Hello friends. In the previous lecture, we have introduced ourselves to nodal analysis and I have told you that this is one of the most uh, important techniques for organizing uh, properly how you write KCL and how you can solve complex uh, problems. Now, this is another question uh, which requires us to, I have not actually defined any objective of this question, but let us take that uh, we have to find all the nodal voltages. Okay, So, let us mark the nodes here now. So, this will be my node 1. So, I will call this node voltage V1, node 2, V2, node 3, V3, and this is the node number 4. And I have told you that the first step is identification of nodes and finding a reference node. So, this will be my reference node here. Now. All right. So, all voltages are with respect to this and this is going to be 0 volt. The reference volt you are setting to be 0 volt. So, now we have to apply <coughs> KCL at different uh, nodes so that we can find the voltages at that particular node, so at node 1, all right, at node 1, okay. Now, in the node 1, the 3 ampere current clearly, so it's leaving, so it will be plus 3 and uh, I have told you, you can just put small current arrows just to understand which node you are going to select. So, here you want the current to move in this direction, therefore, this will be the higher, this will be the lower, so it will be plus, plus and the current is leaving. V1 minus V2 divided by 1 and here you are having the 2 ohm is between V1 and V3, right? V1 and V3. So, that particular current will be V1 minus V3 by 2, difference in potential by the resistance value. So, this is your first equation, alright? This is equal to 0. So, this is the application of KCL. Now, if I can combine these together, so what will I get? So, I just write the final equation. So, here in a doing node analysis problem, basically what you can do is that you can find the LCM and you can do all these things. But since you are having a calculator, in order to save time, it will be always uh, easy to just to write these things directly. So, this V1 minus V2, this is 1 by 2 here, right? So, you get 0.5 V1 minus 0.5 V3 equal to 0. So, don't go for doing this LCM and you can save a little bit of time with this. So, here you get 1.5 V1, alright, minus V2, minus 0 0.5 V3 equal to minus 3. Please be very careful while writing these equations, while you are combining these terms V1, V2, V3, because the chances of making mistakes are huge if you don't write this properly. So, when you are using node analysis, make sure that you write things very neatly. Please don't make it very cluttered and if possible, after completing an equation, you just put it inside a bracket so that finally when you are going to solve, you can understand that that is the equation. So, let us apply at node 2. So, node 2 is this one here. So, here also let me put my small current arrows just to find what all are the currents. So, this is a current, this is a current and this is a current. Right. So, let me write the first current here. So, first current is through the 1 ohm resistor. So, V2 is the king here. So, I will write V2 minus V1 by 1. All right, leaving current positive plus the next leaving current is V2 minus V3 divided by 4 and third leaving current is V2 by 3 equal to 0. V2 by 3 because this is V2 <coughs> minus the reference node divided by 3 but reference node you have set to be 0 volt so it is coming like that. So, here I can just write it like this. So, V2 minus V1 plus 1 by 4 is 0 0.25 right. So, 0 0.25 V2 minus 0 0.25 V3, alright, plus 0 0.3333 V2. In engineering, it's always a good practice to at least use four places of decimals. So, here if I write the equations, uh, combining the equation, so minus V1 plus 1.5833 V2. Alright, so if you just combine this, you will get this value, minus 0 0.25 V3 equal to 0. This is my second equation. So, I will just put a box around that. So, this is my second equation. And the third equation, which is at node 3. Alright, so here let me again put my small current directions here. This is 1, this is 1, and this is 1. And the current one direction is anyway given here. So, the 7 ampere current is entering the node. So, I have to put a minus 7. All right. The rest of the currents are leaving. So, I will just write the equations. So, this current will be 
V3 by 5, all right? And this particular current through the 2 ohm resistor, it will be V3 minus V1 divided by 2, all right? And this particular current through the 4 ohm will be V3 minus V2 divided by 4 and this will be equal to 0. So just writing it a little bit more neat. So you get minus 7 plus 0.2 V3 plus 0.5 V3 minus 0.5 V1 plus 0.25 V3 minus 0.25 V2. You can clearly see there are a lot of plus sign, minus signs involved due to which you might get confused and even while calculating mistakes might happen. But make sure that you write this very cautiously because the node voltages are going to determine a lot of things, right? So minus 0.5 V1, minus 0.25 V2, all right? Plus 0.95 V3 equal to seven. See, I'm not calculating this actually. Now I've already written down all these things. So that's why I'm able to write it fast. Now what you have to do, <coughs> you have to take the calculator, plug in these three equations, and the final solution will be V1 will be equal to 5.23 volts, V2 will be equal to 5.118 volts, V3 will be equal to 11.47 volts. All right. These are the three equations that you are going to get. Yeah. Now, <coughs> what all you can find it here is that, for example, I want to find the current in this direction, all right, from left to right, I want to find the current through the one ohm, all right. So what will I get? Current through the one ohm resistor from left to right will be V1 minus V2 divided by one ohms. So what is V1? It is 5.23 minus 5.118. So this will be some amperes. That will be the current which is going to flow through V1 uh, through the one ohm resistor. Now in case you select the V2, all right? So in that case, current through one ohm, you have selected V2, right? Will be equal to V2 minus V1 by one. So in this case, you are going to get a negative value, but negative value, for example, you get some point minus 0 0.2. It's not 0 0.2. For example, you get minus 0 0.2 amperes. It means that is from the right to left. So that is also okay. See this current, will be also say, say 0 0.2 ampere, that is from left to right. So if you are writing the current from right to left, you have to put a minus sign. So it's not a matter. Uh, whatever node you select, the current value is going to be the same. So let us go for the next problem, a little bit more complicated problem here. Yeah. This problem is designed in a way to confuse you. All right, you have, can see the problem is quite cluttered here. But for this, we have to redraw the circuit. It's looking as if there are multiple nodes, but you know that this node and this node are exactly the same because it is only connected by a wire. And this particular resistance is not touching this particular branch. It is going over there. I have told you when you have a dark spot, it means it is connecting. This is a jumper wire. So let me just redraw this circuit here now. So friends, I have just redrawn the circuit here. I didn't want to bore you, therefore I have made a jump cut here actually in the video. So this is the redrawn circuit. So let us first identify the nodes. So we can find the node voltages. So basically all these questions, we are going to find the node voltage. So this is node one. So I'll put here V1. This is my node two, this is V2. This is my node three, this is V3. Here I don't need not put the node because this both will be the same. And this will be the node four and this is going to be my reference node, reference node. And I will just put this ground symbol here. You may already know what is that symbol. It's a ground symbol. So I have just put it zero volt here. So now let us find uh, and apply KCL, KVL, etc. So at node one, yeah, at node one, all right. <coughs> it's very simple. So this current is entering the node. So I have to put a negative sign. And what is the current value? It is minus eight. So minus of minus eight. And here this current is also entering the node. Sorry, this is minus three. Yeah. This is also minus 3. So this is also entering the node, so minus sign will come. And the, what is the value? It is minus 3. So minus 3. And this current at this direction will be plus V1 minus V2 by 3. All right. And this particular current here, it will be V1 
what is the end of the resistance? It is coming to V3. V1 minus V3 by what is the resistance? It's 4 ohms by 4 equal to 0. So I'll just directly write the equation now. I already calculated it. So 0.5833 V1. You should not do this like this. You should sit down patiently with a lot of dedication. You have to find this value because I too have done like that. So just don't go for the results directly. Make sure that you calculate the entire value. If I calculate the entire value, then the video will be lengthy. <coughs> At node 2 now. At node 2. Yeah. Node 2, let us see the currents. This is a current. This is a current. This current is already given. And this is a current. All right. So now in the future videos, you need not even just mark this current. This marking is because so that you don't forget there is a particular current there. So you can directly write, so here the current is leaving, so that is plus sign and the current value is minus 3, alright, and the next one is V2 minus V1 divided by 3, that is this particular current, then this current is V2 by 1, and this particular current here, this current is V2 minus V3 by 7 equal to 0, alright, so I will combine that also the already found out results <coughs> v1 plus 1.4761 v2 see what i have done is that basically i have taken the 1 by 7 value and i have put it and multiplied it together so you can use the lcm value or you can directly write it all right and minus 1.428 v3 equal to 3 all right this is the second equation so first equation Second equation and at node 3, these are very long videos. Yeah, these three currents. So let's take this current first here. So that is leaving the node, right? So plus minus 25. And let me take this particular current now for the 7 ohm. So it will be plus V3 minus V2 by 7. All right. And this particular current here through the 4 ohms. So it is V3 minus V1 divided by 4 because V3 is here, V1 is here. The potential difference is V3 minus V1. And another plus sign, this is V3 by 5. V3 by 5 equal to 0. So what I have done, 1 by 7 I know the value is around 1, 0.1428. So you get 0.1428 into V3 minus 0.1428 into V2. This is 0.25, 0.25 V3 minus 0.25 V1. This is 1 by 5.2. And I combine all these things together to get the third equation and the final equation minus 0.25 V1 minus 0.1428 V2 plus 0.5928 V3 equal to 25. Again, take the calculators, use the equation mode, select AX plus BY plus CZ equal to D option, substitute these values. And you will get V1 to be equal to 5.414 volt, V2 will be equal to 7.73 volt, and V3 will be equal to 46.32 volts. Okay. So based on you are using LCM or directly finding the things, you these values might be changed a little bit by some order of uh, maybe 5.2, 5.5, or 5.41, 5.42 like that. But not a great change. 5 volts will not become 6 volts. All right. Now, uh, before closing the lecture, let us see what I had already told you. When you are having n nodes, n nodes, you will get n minus 1 equations, right? So let us see that. In this question, how many nodes you have? 1, 2, 3, and 4 nodes. This is the fourth node, right? And how many equations you wrote? 1, 2, and 3 equations, right? Let us see the previous question. You are having 1, 2, 3, and 4 nodes. And how many equations we wrote? 1, two and three equations we have. So that is what I meant by when you are having an n number of nodes, you write n minus one equation. Sometimes this is usually, sometimes this is asked in objective questions in gate, not in gate, in IES sometimes they have, they ask that uh, the circuit has eight nodes. So how many equations you are going to write? So it will be seven. It's just a point to remember, right? So I will close this lecture now. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.